Hello Virgo, thank you for joining me. It's Sandra here from Wolf Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading from the 10th to the 16th of May 2021 or thereabouts. I've pre-shuffled the cards Virgo to get your energy into the cards um, and I'll just be doing a final shuffle now of all of them but it is a general reading Virgo so um, uh, take what resonates with you with this reading but then leave the rest behind that doesn't have any meaning for you future readings um, will perhaps have more meaning for you um, but let's see let's see how this one pans out for you um, also just quickly to say um, Virgo that um, at the beginning of this reading um, these this reading period um, it'll be the dark moon which is the just very briefly um, how the moon is with no light um, just before the new moon starts to peep through um, and this is right at the beginning of this um, reading these reading dates so the 10th the 11th um, and so what and it's in it's in the sign of Taurus which is another earth sign uh, but that what that means is energy wise is to um, take time out rest um rest and let go let go of anything that's no longer serving you now and then going through to the middle of the week um we have the new moon peeping through which is in the sign of gemini um and this is about just a quiet creativity now perhaps the germination of ideas um but nothing more um you know just just take your time through through this week wherever you can i know it's not possible in all aspects of life but whenever you can, don't expect too much of yourself through this, through this period. So I'll just do a final shuffle now of the Moonology cards. And a final shuffle of the Oracle of Visions. So first of all we have the new moon in Sagittarius and this is saying that luck is on your side Virgo. So that's a lovely one to start with. So luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Um, and then we have number 34 um, and this talks about breaking free, chasing a dream. So breaking out of the norm, out of the rut perhaps, um, breaking free um, and chasing a dream, whatever that dream is and whatever aspect it's to do with. So let's see where that is going. So look is on your side and breaking free and chasing a dream. Right, final shuffle of the Tarot of Dreams. So we have the heart of your reading, what's on your mind at the moment, root of the matter past influences, the future going forward and then something else that spirit and your guides would like um, to pass on to you. Now at the bottom of the deck we have the Three of Swords um, and this is when there's been some heartache, heartbreak, heart pain. Um, sometimes it's feelings of betrayal for some people uh, but not always but it's something that's, that's hurt you quite deeply. Um, so we'll see where that's going. I'll just put it to one side, um, just quickly underneath. Yeah, it's an ending of something, something that's been shared. Um, we've got the snake, the snake of intelligence here, and this is something that needed to be shared, um, ready for the snake to grow. So the snake has to shed its skin, ready to grow to, and evolve and go forward. So this is um, a shedding of something, an ending of something, but ready for transformation and new growth. All right, but whatever this is to do with, it's created a lot of heartache and, and heart pain for you. And it's connected with the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Destiny that's turning. Um, now, generally, this wheel is, is turning in, in favour of, of whoever it comes out for. Um, and it's to do with some form of a home or work environment, to do with passion creativity energy movement and change okay and yes holding on the knight of one so trying to control passion in some area trying to hold on to the fire breathing dragon here 
Okay, and then the world, a completion of a cycle. Okay, so let's just see where this is, where this is heading. Let's do um, a final shuffle of the light, Sears Tarot. And we'll lay these on top to clarify the cards on the table. And at the bottom of this deck, we have, right, the Six of Wands. And this is hard-won victory. Um, there's victory and achievement here, and it's been acknowledged by others. And it's been hard-won. It's took a while. Um, but it's, it's success and achievement, right? Um, and it's to do with work. It's to do with something to do with work. The King of Pentacles here, working hard, um, being at the top of your game, bringing money to the table very good at um, managing money and of course I always think of the King of Pentacles as yourself Virgo being an Earth Pentacles energy so the, I feel this is something perhaps to do with work and yes the Emperor being in charge being in control um, making the rules making the decisions um, and then we have a Queen of Cups here though so this is very much a Piscean energy um, and this is to do with um, Matters to do with the heart, could be to do with love and relationships, but it doesn't have to be. Being in control of your emotions, it's not gender specific, but very sensitive and caring and nurturing energy. Um, and then there's this, uh, a new uh, career or money opportunity here um, that's, that's promising some form of abundance. Uh, but it may mean um, having to move on from something or move, move forward leave the stormy clouds behind okay there's some form of a competitive energy now this may be to do with work something going on at work some form of a perhaps a need to leave the battlefield somebody somebody is ego being ego driven here okay let's see where this is going but there's certainly you you've certainly been feeling um being achievement and success but possibly within this work situation but of course, not everybody, you're going to have lots of people applauding you, but not everybody appreciates what you, what you bring to the table, what you're able to offer. You know, it can, it can bring up um, feelings of, of jealousy, perhaps, in some cases. Okay. All right, now let's, let's see what's at the heart of your reading. Well, we have Justice and the Four of Swords. Um, now the justice card is as it says on the tin this is about need, a need for the scales to be balanced now there's a need for justice for, some, for in some for some a situation Virgo and for somebody um, and the clarifier is the four of swords which is having a rest having a break um, putting your heart to one side having a break from matters to do with that affect your heart um, and of course we've had the three of swords haven't we? which is heartache and heart pain um, because of something ending or being shared so um, so this may be saying there's a you're having a, a rest a break to give your heart a break to do with whatever this um, need for justice is to do with and you know it could be that there's been there's been an, an injustice in the past that something's not been right not been fair um, for you and it's been it's been affecting your heart space for some of you so let's see what you what's on your mind at the moment well we have the ten of cups and the ace of cups now the Ten of Cups, this is a family situation. You're thinking about your family um, or a family situation where there's lots of love and relationships. We've even got the family dog here. So there's lots of love um, and happiness and joy within this family situation that you're thinking about. Um, but we've got the Ace of Cups as a clarifier and this is about... Um, a new beginning to do with matters of the heart within this home relationship. Um, perhaps something, perhaps things intensifying to do with love and relationships. Um, 
and all new opportunities within the family. But there's also a need or you'll feel, you're thinking about, you need to protect your heart. All right. So let's see. That's what you're thinking about. At the root of this situation, we have the Ace of Wands and the Seven of Cups. And immediately when I look at these two cards, I see somebody's passion building up. Because we've already seen that, haven't we? Um, I'm trying to think which pile it was. Um, something to do with passion. And holding on, yes, this was underneath the Three of, um, the three of Swords. So passion building up, holding on to passion trying to hold on to passion but at the root of this I, I feel there was some form of an explosion of passion some form of passion building up new opportunity perhaps to do with um, creativity or, or passion and linked to that we've got the seven of cups and that's this is having multiple choices having options and choices making a decision all right now this is at the root of this situation where there's been some form of an injustice um, not there's some form of um, an uneven playing field if you like um, and, and so needing to um, have a break from matters to do with the heart or what's meaningful for your heart space now past influences we have the eight of wands and we have the lovers I do feel this is quite a specific reading for somebody um, Virgo or for a, just a small handful of you because what's coming out is, is quite specific. So I don't think it will resonate with all of you. Um, but who am I to say? It, it may do. Um, who am I to say? But it is. it does seem quite specific. So, um, past influences, we have the Eight of Wands. So this and the Lovers. So the Eight of Wands um, is very much uh, about information coming in, events moving moving on very quickly, something happening, happening rapidly coming in. And the clarify being the lovers, which is the Gemini um, energy, maybe something to do with the Gemini, um, somebody Gemini in your life, but doesn't have to be. Um, but it's to do with an intimate, close intimate relationship of some sort, a very close relationship of some sort. Um, and information coming in or events moving forward rapidly with this relationship. Now, going forward, we have the moon energy, which is a Piscean energy again, and the Seven of Swords. So the moon energy, this is when something is a bit unclear. There's a lack of clarity in some areas. Things are a bit vague um, and you can't see something clearly. Um, more information is needed um, and the clarifier is the seven of swords and this is the sneaky energy a thief in the night energy somebody being somewhere they shouldn't be taking something that doesn't belong to them so you know the thief in the night that sort of sneaky um, energy um, okay so I feel that there's, there's something for some of you, there's something you are a little bit aware of, but there's, you know there's, there's areas you're not sure about. And it's to do with something, an energy of um, sabotage, um, somebody up to no good perhaps, an energy of somebody up to no good. And that you're a little bit in the dark about going forward. Sometimes this is about self-sabotage, where we can self-sabotage things. And no matter how well things are going, we just have to um, put the cog in the spokes, put a spoke into the cogs, if you like. I'll get, I will get some more information to do with those two energies. But let's see what your guides are advising you. Well, we have the Page of Cups now and the Ten of Pentacles. So let's breathe a sigh of relief here for Virgo. So because what your guides are saying to you is the Page of Cups, this is a, a message of a new emotional experience or a deepening of emotional experience because we've got the Ten of Pentacles. 
and this is the family situation this is abundance within the family situation so we've had the ten of cups which is again love and relationships in the family this is what you were thinking about and your heart space and and this the new um emotional experience there that although protecting your heart and here um again the page of cups bringing message a message of um love perhaps or an opportunity for love within this family abund an abundance within the family situation so you know to do with perhaps work and career mon more money coming in new opportunities um things being more settled and secure within this family situation as a result of um something new that's going to be meaningful for your heart space that you're going to um, be very very happy about and joyful about but this remember the pages are something new so it's a, a message you know what action you take is very much up to yourself Virgo so this is about an opportunity or a message of an opportunity to create more abundance and security within a family situation I'm going to get some more information about the Moon and the Seven of Swords. Right, could we have some more information please about the Moon and the Seven of Swords for Virgo? Some more information about the Moon and the Seven of Swords for Virgo please. Right, we have a card that's just jumped out and it's the Ace of Wands again and we saw the Ace of Wands at the root of the matter connected to choices and options. Well, it's just jumped out again. Um, so new creative endeavour, new creative opportunity that's going to bring in passion and reward and growth. So I'll just pop that back in and just do another couple of shuffles. The Moon and the Seven of Swords. And we've got another card that's flipped over and this is the Nine of Wands um, and this is about standing your ground, protecting what you have. Um, after a lot of hard work, I need to stand your ground and protect what you have for some reason. So I'll just pop that back in and um, do another couple of shuffles. So this is the Moon and the Seven of Swords please. Right, could I have two more please? Two more. Two more for the Moon and the Seven of Swords. Two more please. So connected to the moon here, um, we have the Queen of Wands and we have the Two of Pentacles. So the Queen of Wands, Wands very entrepreneurial energy, very much a go-getter, um, could, could be a business owner, running your own business, but very creative, very passionate with her creativity. Um, a bit of a driving force, a force to be reckoned with, if you like, but in a very, in a nice way. So there's a Queen of Wands energy here. It's not gender specific, Virgo. So this is either an aspect of yourself, um, or this is somebody connected to you, um, and you feel there's something you're not that's not clear at the moment to do with the Queen of Wands. And it's something to do with balance. There's an imbalance here. And it might be to do with money that's coming in because the seesaw is, pre is perched precariously on a peach nut here. And we have the boy and the girl going up and down, each one holding their own pentacle. 
so um, at some point, you know, the young girl is, a, is, is higher up with her money and at some point the little boy is higher up with his money. But there's this sort of um, up and down to do with money, a money situation. And so there's a need for more balance within this situation. But um, something's a little bit vague to do with um, Queen of Wands, this entrepreneurial energy. All right. And then connected to the Seven of Swords. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles and we have the Four of Swords. Um, so the Nine of Pentacles, this is very much about being independent, doing your own thing, being self-sufficient, having the pick of the crop in a certain area, um, you know, bringing money to the table, um, bringing bun abundance forward, but doing so independently and, self and being very self-sufficient. Um, and then the Four of Swords is when something's sort of, you know, having a rest, having a break, slowing down and taking time out, contemplation. It's all those sorts of energies. Okay, okay. So, so if we bring all those together, um, going forward into the near future, um, for for some of you Virgo, um, we have um, a, a Queen of Wands energy, an entrepreneurial energy, um, a fire energy, very creative. But there's something that's unclear at the moment. Now, either an aspect of yourself with this energy, uh, Virgo, or it's somebody connected to you. But there's something a bit unclear at the moment. And it's to do with um, a need for balance, a need for more balance. Things are a bit precarious, I feel, to do with um, money, to do with money coming in. Now, connected to this sneaky energy, um, somebody being a little bit sneaky about something or being somewhere they shouldn't be, um, could be self-sabotage as well for some of you to do with um, being independent thinking for yourself um, bringing a lot of money forward but then having the pick of the crop because of that being able to benefit from abundance but but it's slowed down this this is this energy is slowed down going forward or is slowing down going forward so, this energy is slowing down, going forward, coming to a bit of a standstill. All right, so to do with one of you, and I feel this is to do with a relationship because we've had a lot of family um, cards coming out. So I feel within this family situation, there is some conflict here to do with money. Um, something's not clear going forward. Um, some one of you um, things have slowed down a bit but perhaps you've not revealed that at this time i will go through it all again in a minute for you virgo but let's just leave that bit i'm just going to get a bit more information here about the page of cups and the ten of pentacles please a bit more information now for the page of cups and the Ten of Pentacles, please. Advice from Spirit. Page of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, please. Two more. We have two more. Two more, please. So connected to the Page of Cups, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this offer of something that's going to have a lot of meaning for you, 
um, that you're going to love. It's to do with an offer of abundance, a gift or an inheritance, um, money, opportunity. Um, but it's something new that's coming in um, that's going to be very meaningful for you, that's going to bring a lot of happiness for you. Um, but it's not quite the right time. So it's coming in slowly. It will come in. It's still growing. It's still developing. But it will be coming in and there will be a harvest here um, for some of you. Now, connected to the Ten of Pentacles, um, which is the abundance within the home, we have the Ten of Swords and we have the Tower. Um, now... If we recall, we, we've already had the Three of Swords, haven't we? And something something coming to an end, um, but ready for new growth. And part of your... It's part of the destiny. All right, so this could well be connected with that energy. Um, because within this family situation, we've got the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is when there's been heartbreak and heart pain. A very difficult painful situation that is now coming to an end it's now coming to an end you see the the young woman grieving next to the the gravestone here because of a loss something that's ended um and we've saw that didn't we underneath the um, three of swords we saw the death card there death and rebirth so you know this is within a family situation um some form of a, 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 it's been very difficult and painful situation, but the swords, when the Ten of Swords comes forward, it means these swords are now starting to lift. Um, it's an ending to that difficult situation. It's about letting go, and I think I mentioned that, didn't I? I mean, we've got the moon here within the card, and I mentioned that at the beginning of this reading period, we have the dark moon, which is about um, resting and letting go. Okay, so clarifying that, um, we have, let's put it here. So clarifying that, um, we have the Tower card. Um, now this this is about a, some form of a revelation. Um, so this lightning bolt coming down to raise this tree to the ground because the tree was already starting to rot it was it the roots weren't secure it was starting to rot anyway so um so the universe sent this bolt of lightning down to bring bring it down to bring it to an end um because it was no longer serving its purpose and it was no longer um good for you virgo no longer meaningful for you so um so this is a this is something that um, as as happened. I feel um, that you know something had to be had to be raised to the ground, had to be finished. Um, there's been and it came in suddenly. I feel for you, and and that's what brought on this this um, heart pain, heartache. Um, all right, but you know the swords are going to start to lift now. The thoughts are going to start to lift now. Um, and the grieving, hopefully, is going to be um, coming to an end. Um, within, And it's something to do with um, the family, the, the abundance and security within a family situation. Okay. So just a very quick recap. Um, we've got somebody that needs, that's wanting to break free of a situation now, to leave a situation behind. Luck is on your side, Virgo. So that's a very important message. There's been an injustice and unfairness in the past, so the scales needing to be balanced or are being balanced now. Um, but it's a time of, so, but, you know, it's time to rest. And that's perhaps, it's this restful period that um, is going to help the scales to be rebalanced for you. So it's been a bit, a bit, of, it's been a difficult time for you, I feel, for some of you. And what you're thinking about is the love and relationships within the family and your heart centre, and you know something new progressing, coming in, and but needing to look after your heart at the same time. Um, at the root of this was this sort of a build up of creativity and a build-up of passion and having lots of options and choices and that was at the root of it and then in the past 
influences. We have the Eight of Wands, which is events moving forward quickly and, and information coming in concerning um, uh, a relationship, concerning um, a close relationship of some sort. Okay, and then and then going forward, and then of course, as I say, the overriding energy was the Three of Swords, which is about heartbreak and heart pain. Um, and I feel that's connected to the need for justice and the scales to be balanced here. But there's been a lot of success. You've been very successful, you know, within your work situation and being a bit of a leader, um, you know, and having balanced emotions here and new opportunities. So there's been lots of success. It's, it, this, this reading is quite a reading of, of two halves, really, isn't it? But obviously they are interconnected in some way. Um, and then going forward, um, we have a Queen of Wands energy, a little bit of vagueness to do with that energy, and a need for balance to do with money and income. Um, uh, but the, the, somebody may be, there may be a bit of self-sabotage going on, um, or somebody being a little bit secretive or furtive. Um, and it's something to do with being independent, um, bringing in certain amount of money perhaps um perhaps keeping it to yourself some of you or somebody keeping it to themselves uh, but being but benefiting from this abundance um but then things have come to a bit of a standstill um and of course we had the four of swords at the heart of your reading here so it's come out twice <clears throat> So if I think about that and the four of swords at the heart of your reading to do with justice, then if I look at this, then the four of swords again, um, connected to the nine of pentacles and the seven of swords. So there's a need, this is where there's a need for justice. It's somebody um, independently bringing in quite, being quite self-sufficient and bringing in a lot of abundance but I feel keeping it to themselves. Now, this could either be yourself, Virgo, you know, I have to say it as I see it, or it's somebody connected to you. And that's where the moon energy comes in, that's where there's some vagueness here. Um, and it's to do with some form of uh, creative energy, entrepreneurial energy. Um, but there's the need for balance here now. There's, a, there's an, an, an unequal balance to do with money. Okay, so, um, and, and then what your guides are wanting to say to you is that um, there's a page of cups that says that there's going to be a message that's going to be meaningful for your heart, that's going, you're going to make you very happy, and it's to do with um, an abundance of something coming in or an opportunity to do with money coming in. Um, but it's not here yet. It's it's still getting ready to come in. It's still growing. But for some, you know, I, I've just got to say what I can see here. All right. Um, this is going to... For some of you, I feel whatever this new opportunity coming in to do with money... It's almost as if it's going to blow something apart. It's, this is what may bring this lightning bolt down. Um, but it's going to bring an end. It, that will then create, bring an end to a difficult situation. It'll help these swords to lift. It's going to bring an end to a painful situation. Um, and it's to do with money and income within the family situation. Something's going to be brought to an end quite, quite dramatically. Something's going to be, have to be released and let go. Um, but there's lots... I say, it's a very complicated reading, Virgo. I feel it is quite specific for somebody. Um, I feel the scales are going to... The scales are going to be balanced out here. Uh, they need to be. The scales need to be balanced here. They need to be balanced. And it's to do with money coming in um, in a family situation. Uh, cut a long story short, I feel that's what it... You know, somebody's been very successful achieving um, 
but there's been heartbreak and heart pain on some level perhaps because of somebody's need need to um, break free from a situation but I feel this lightning bolt is going to do that this tower moment is going to you know cause a very difficult situation um, to come to an end it's, I feel it's going to bring in the justice that's needed here for somebody and then you you know you're going to need to have a rest and have a break from the situation right let me just get uh, sorry it's very very this has been a quite um, an intense reading for whoever this was for Virgo um, but let's get two final messages for you two final messages for Virgo please to complete this reading two final messages for Virgo please to complete this reading Okay, so we have travel lightly so simplify your life so yes get rid of the clutter get rid of that which is you know and that could be energetic clutter as well it could be um, clutter from the past that's been holding you down holding you back um, so get rid you know simplify your life now because there's lots to look forward to as you go off on your new journey now travel lightly travel more lightly get rid of the baggage um, miracles, so miracles are happening, expect the wondrous to emerge because miracles are on the way for you Virgo and I think we can see that here. Um, so these two cards in effect sum up the whole of the reading, you know, so getting rid of, bringing the end to a difficult situation, get rid of the old baggage now, let it go because there's something wonderful on its way for you and I feel not just for you but for this family situation Virgo all right okay um I'm going to leave it there Virgo I hope you've enjoyed the reading and whoever it was for that it's given you some clarity and a little bit of support on on the situation that you're in at this time um all right so um good luck going forward and I hope you can join me again in the future bye bye for now <laughs>